Hi there. Here we are with the last of our Read Around the World series books. Uh, this one is called Save the Ocean. Let me show it to you. All right, here we go. Boys and girls, let me show you my map. It's a little blurry and bright. Sorry about that. There we go. That's better. All right. Uh, in our last uh, book that we looked at, took place down here on the continent of Antarctica, way down in the southern hemisphere, the very bottom, the very southernmost part. We're moving all the way up here, not to a continent, but today's book is about the Arctic Ocean. The Arctic Ocean. So let's take a look at our book and our question and answer. Let's take a look at our book first. Here's the cover of our book, Save the Ocean, uh, written and illustrated by Bethany Stahl. So boys and girls, uh, first I think it asks you here asked um, to choose the genre of the book. Is it fiction, nonfiction, realistic fiction, or historical fiction? Let's take a look at our cover for a hint. All right, I'm going to just let you know before we even begin the story that this story um, talks about some issues that are going on currently and why we need to pay attention to our own habits and how they affect our ocean and our planet. So those are real problems and real issues, but let's take a look at our cover. What do we see here? A mermaid. Are mermaids real, boys and girls? No, and also in our story, this turtle, his name is Agwe. He has a name and he talks. So that should be a clue. We have a mermaid and a talking turtle. So that tells us that our story is fiction. Now, as I said, there are some real issues being talked about in the story. So if you want to circle realistic fiction, that's acceptable too. So you've written down the author and the illustrator, Bethany Stahl, and I'll show you the copyright date. And this book actually does have a biography of the author in the back. So we're going to take a look at that too. Here we are, Save the Ocean, written and illustrated by Bethany Stahl. Usually, usually this page with the publishing information has such small print, but we have a, a nice big print here today, boys and girls. Uh, this book was published in 2019, so less than two years old, and a very recent book. And our author has also written books besides Save the Ocean, Save the Arctic, and Save the Bees. So we're talking about things that we can do to help make our planet a better, safer place and a healthier place. I'm going to move to the back and read this biography of the author. So we know something about the woman who, uh, who has written this book. Bethany Stahl is an illustrator and author based out of Knoxville, Tennessee. She is an established artist whose work is frequently displayed in galleries. So she's also an artist. Bethany aspires to create book kindness and love towards not only each other, but our planet. Save the Ocean is her third book dedicated to loving the ocean. Bethany grew up on a beach and started a branch of Jane Goodall's Roots and Shoots program in Pinellas County High Schools while earning her Bachelor of Science in Biology degree. The group was dedicated to regrowing the population of native plants and bring awareness to saving sea turtles and other local endangered animals. Bethany's efforts were recognized by Jane Goodall and she received a certificate of recognition. Bethany has also dedicated over 1,000 hours of volunteering 
to protect and save our wild are about our, our author, but go ahead and choose a couple of things that are interesting to you. You might find some down here in the pictures too. I'm going to show those to you in a minute. But remember, we are not cop copying word for word, just pulling out a couple of um, couple of facts that are interesting to you that you would want to share. For instance, what jumps out to me is where she says, she, she's trying to help teach kindness and love towards not only each other, but our planet. We need to be kind to our planet, boys and girls, so it can be kind to us. And let me show you these pictures at the bottom because there's some interesting information here as well. Bethany diving with the sea turtle and supporting conservation efforts. Bethany planting native plants. Here she is with her shovel. And Bethany rescuing a baby manatee. So she's very serious about her efforts to try to help and save. And boys and girls, this is interesting too. Bethany meeting Jane Goodall. Here's Jane Goodall. And I want to tell you a little bit about her if you don't already know. She is considered the world's foremost expert on chimpanzees. She's an anthropologist, someone who studies on humans and humanity. Um, and I think she's best known for her work with uh, chimpanzees, which she's done. She has devoted almost her entire long life. She's in her 80s now. She has devoted her entire life almost to issues of conservation and animal welfare. So she is well, she's a very well respected and, um, and just a good person to devote her life to these efforts. So if she is, if Jane Goodall herself is recognizing Bethany Stahl, that tells you how important Bethany Stahl's work is. So again, if you um, need to pause this video, you want to go over any of that information some more, you can go ahead and do that. But we're going to go back and begin the story. Save the Ocean, written and illustrated by Bethany Stahl. I do love the illustrations in this book. They're so colorful. Somewhere in the ocean, surrounded by a sea of beautiful creatures, lives Kalisha, a brilliant young mermaid. Oops, one thing I forgot is to go over our questions so we can have them in mind as we read. We are having a lot of glare issues here. I'm sorry about that. All right, number one, what did Agwe mistake for a jellyfish that made him cough and spit? Number two, what are the three R's that Agwe tells Kalisha we can use to help clean up the oceans? And number three, tell about an interesting ocean fact you learned from the back of this book. So those are the questions we want to have in mind as we read our story. Let's get back to Kalisha, mermaid and Arctic Ocean, and all her little friends. One day, Agwe swam by Kalisha's coral home on his way to find a delicious meal of jellyfish, Agwe's favorite. Can I come with you today, Kalisha asked, hoping she could see more of the reef with her good friend, who was almost 100 years old. Yes, boys and girls, sea turtles live to be around 100 years old. Of course you can, Kalisha. Grab onto my shell and let's go. Agwe laughed as he slammed forward with the current of the ocean. 
Oh, look, I see some jellies over there. Kalisha exclaimed as she pointed to a group of jellyfish. With a big smile, Agwe swam toward the jellies, eating so many like they were candy. Can you get a good picture swimming there amongst all the jellyfish. Kalisha noticed something was wrong with Agwe. He kept coughing on one of the jellyfish and was trying to spit it back out. Kalisha rushed to grab the jelly and pull it out of Agwe's mouth. This isn't a jelly, Kalisha said, looking towards the group of jellyfish. Kalisha now realized that most of what she thought was jellyfish were just plastic bags, which ended up in the ocean, but they looked like jellyfish. Mm, face. Looks like oh, this is not a good thing. This has been happening more and more, Agwe said sadly, still feeling hungry. There have been more bags and less food for me to find. Oh, Agwe, that's terrible. How do we clean up our oceans? Do you have any ideas, Kalisha asked. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. You may have heard that before and seen this symbol. This is a way we can help save our planet and make things healthy and good. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Let's talk about what that means. Those are great ideas. Together we can each, I'm sorry, together we can help each other recycle and teach everyone to use reusable bags instead of plastic. Then turtles like Agwe won't accidentally eat trash anymore, Kalisha explained. So if we use reusable bags, then we don't use all those plastic ones that end up in the ocean. Will you promise to recycle your plastic as much as you can? We can also use re reusable shopping bags as much as possible. Together, we can reduce the trash in our ocean so we can all enjoy a cleaner earth. Soon there were so many people who were helping recycle their trash and protect the ocean that it became clean again. I love my jellies, Agwe said, and I love you, Kalisha replied. Thank you for protecting our home, exclaimed Kalisha and Agwe. You can watch an audio book, Boys and Girls too, in this series of books. Can you see that at youtube.com slash C slash Bethany Stahl. All right, we're going to go over these ocean facts, which um, is question number three. There are only seven different types of sea turtles. The different types are green, hawksbill, Kemp's Ridley, leatherback, loggerhead, olive Ridley, and the flatback. Agwe is a green sea turtle. Coral reefs are home to more than 25% of all ocean life and only take up less than 1% of the entire ocean floor. Hmm, coral reefs are only 1%. It takes the plastic bags that turtles like Agwe accidentally eat 10 to 1,000 years to decompose. That's about 10 human lifetimes. 
which means a bag that you use could still be in the ocean when you have a great, 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 great grandchild. If we all work together, we can make a change. So go ahead, boys and girls, if you want to take a couple of minutes to look over those ocean facts. Maybe record what you're most interesting to you. And in the meantime, on this page, you can see some of Bethany's artwork. Some of, of different parts of the ocean, things we find uh, in or near the ocean. So boys and girls, it's, it's important that we all try to be more considerate and more thoughtful about the things we do, the things we use, so we can keep our planet clean and healthy for years to come. All right, boys and girls, I can't thank you enough for um, uh, coming to hear the stories from the Read Around the World program. Uh, keep up the good work and uh, thank you so much.